Robert, just sum up your emotions after that. Oh, I'm proud. Probably that, but that's probably the word that sums it up. I just thought they should be proud of it, of everyone, of, of, of themselves. I think they, you know, we stuck, we we took steps last week in the right direction. I thought the effort and desire and the 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 willingness to play for each other for the badge for the fans last week I thought were immense. Problem is last week we ran out of subs, um, and that's and you know we scored the same amount of tries, but we just sort of ran out of troops. And we had you know three head knocks and two sort of uh, season any injuries, whereas this week it was the same again. I just thought they were, I thought they were brilliant from the from minute one. I thought they really dug in for each other and their effort and desire were amazing. Um, we managed to keep a few more bodies on the field this week. How difficult has it been to put that side together today, this week? Yeah, very difficult. Uh, and that's, I mean, we saw, it's been difficult from the fact that a lot of lads went for injections, obviously Greeny were out, is down out for the year, Wilson probably out for the year, um, Ash had an injection on Monday in his back, probably shouldn't have played again today but played for us and then you got Sam Hewitt out with a head knock and Dre out with his band so all of a sudden I think I had, we had a couple of shirts um, embroidered this week with debuts just in case two lads played, um, they didn't actually play but it, that's, where, that's where we're at. Um, but, Rather than looking at it in a, in, a, in a negative way, I've sort of used it as a positive and used it as an op the, the buzzword this week for an opportunity. You know, a door shuts for one person, it opens for somebody else, and somebody else who's on the periphery of the squad that I'm not, probably wouldn't have got an opportunity if there were you know, a, a fully fit squad of people like Fenton Rogers and Aidan McGowan. They've stepped up and been absolutely fantastic, and somebody who's, who's had a journey with academy lads and come through the academy set myself. I love it when young British lads come through and, and get to make the debut. So I'm, I'm really, really pleased that they've taken that opportunity. I had a quick look and I might be wrong, but I think the only time Jake Bibby has started in the second row was for Salford in 2019. Did, did he come to you about that or did you come to him and say, this is where I want you to play? This is where you're playing, mate. <laughs> this is where we're playing. Do you know what? The more he touched the ball tonight, the more the more joy we had. Really, even though he's a centre by trade, or even potentially being on the wing, which mainly a centre, but he's probably one of the most experienced players we've got. And he sometimes probably forgets that does Bibbs. He forgets that he's won a Challenge Cup final. He's played in Grand Finals. He's played at the very top level, and sometimes I probably don't. I don't think he understands the standing that he has when it, when he's playing them games. So I just kept sending a message on to him tonight. Every time you touch the ball, we get a quick play of the ball or an half break. So get your hands on the ball more. So Robert, people will want to know, how does a makeshift side pull out this performance with the desire and the enthusiasm and the energy that you've just been hailing? Where's that been over the last couple of months and why has it taken till now? Yeah, it's a tricky one, mate. It's, it's, it happens in many different sports, not just rugby league. You don't know where, sometimes you don't know where it goes and where it comes back from confidence, but I don't know. Um, at this moment in time, we saw we just sort of come together really, and and, and had open, honest conversations, and, and yeah, I'm not sure if I had a crystal ball, but I'd be a millionaire. I'm afraid of McGowan to almost score on his home Super League yeah. debut. He wasn't far away, was he? It's been a lovely story this week. You know, I, I saw the pictures soon after we had we had the interview at the beginning of the week. Um, in, in a giant in a in a giant shirt and giant hat with his mum and dad, and his I think it might be his sister or brother. As a young kid, that's what I want to see, really. You know, as I said before that I coach the academy lads. I've got a real affiliation, and I'm really close to Sam Hewitt and Ollie Russ because the, you know they came through the we came the journey. I started the journey with them, and we came through together. And and it's nice to see lads come through the come through the system. We've got a really good system, all these good giants. You know, you look at the players that are not even here. We've got two lads playing in NRL in Dom and and Will, and we've got Cruz and and Jake. You know, playing for England, it's, the system's good here. We've got we've got a good youth system, and it's it's nice for them to come through with us. So, has tonight made you want to accelerate that head coach position, or has it made you made you think twice about it? <laughs> no, look, I, I, I honestly think I can do a really good job. I think I've played a lot of years as a player. I think I started in two thousand and two as a player, so I've been around. I've been around the block quite a while. I've seen a lot of coaches, worked under a lot of brilliant coaches. Some not so good ones. Um, I think I've done a decent apprenticeship as a coach now. I'm also, I said to you previously, that I'm not in any rush either. If, if the club decide that it's not my time, 
and they bring somebody else in, I'm more than happy to assist because all I want is this group of players to fulfil their own, their potential and and the club to to fulfil theirs. So it's more about them than it is me. But do you get a decision? Do you get a feeling there might be a decision either way sooner rather than later or not? I have no idea, and that's me being brutally yeah. honest. Yeah, I have no idea. I probably have as much idea as you. So just lastly for me, what, what does the, the W do for this, this group? It's been a long time between drinks. Yeah, it has. It's been a long time. And you know what? This year, I've said before, but professional sport is the fine margins. It's fine margins. And in 2022, we had a really good year. I think we won about five games by two points or less. But the standing and the confidence it gives you. And this year, I've said it, we've scored the same amount of tries against Salford the first time we played in me and lost. Scored the same amount of tries against Lee twice and lost. Scored the same amount of tries against Saints, lost by a drop goal. If you just turn around one or two of them results, I think confidence snowballs and and it carries on. And I'm not going to lie, it'd have been very, it'd have been devastating if we put the same effort and put in the same performance we did last week and come up short to come up short again. I think it'd have been very demoralising. So to get the actual win, yeah, it's great, great for everyone.